Disgraced former FBI Director James Comey continued to try to deflect blame for his conduct and their consequences, blasting Republicans and President Trump testifying for nearly six hours before House lawmakers. So another day of Hillary Clinton's emails and the Steele dossier. This while the President of the United States is lying about the FBI, attacking the FBI, and attacking the rule of law in this country. How does that make any sense at all? Republicans used to understand that the actions of a president matter, the words of a president matter, the rule of law matters, and the truth matters. Well, joining us now, James Colstrom, former assistant director of the FBI. He served nearly 30 years with the Bureau. Jim, it's great to have you with us. Uh, Thanks, Lou. It, it, it used to matter who ran the FBI. Uh, your sense of uh, what is going on in the FBI and its leadership still and the the performance of this disgraced former FBI director. Yeah, Jim Comey is just, uh, I don't know, I guess if, you know, you looked at a, a picture of someone who was a narcissist, you'd have Jim Comey's, that would be the picture you'd have in the book. You know, the guy's just out of his mind. The notion that the FBI reputation has been soiled, not because of him, but because of other things. I mean, it's because of him. And it's because of the other five or six or 10 or 12, whatever the number is, people around him, the McCabe's of the world, the Strucks of the world, the Pages of the world, and all the rest of these people. Everyone who was associated with him has been sullied and soiled and disgraced, whether they've been fired yeah. or whether they've been resigned. Yeah, he's an educated nimwit. I mean, and he promoted people of his ilk around him, I guess, so he wouldn't feel the, you know, you know, he'd feel like he was still going to be the imperial wizard. You know, the guy is just out of his mind, quite frankly. But he's done criminally. Uh, the, the federal violations he's uh, put himself into. And, and, and the Bureau, you know, and he has zero support now in the FBI. He carried out an investigation against the president of the United States for nearly a year before there was a special counsel. It's unclear to anyone right now why how he got away with it and well, why it, there was not some check because as far it, as we know no other FBI director in history <laughs> has done that he got away with it because he was a lieutenant in Obama's intel army yeah he was a lieutenant in the army with others Brennan et al Clapper et al you know this whole conspiracy the, first off to stop Trump right and then if he by some miracle uh, was elected you know, to make his I, uh, administration worthless. You know, I, I, I think back every time we talk about the intelligence apparatus of the Obama administration unleashed on this president, I can recall vividly when the president said that he was being wiretapped and the national left-wing media mocked him, said, no, <laughs> ridiculous, no evidence, blah, blah, blah. It turns out it was worse than wiretapped. It was, a, it was persecution, it was surveillance, it was spies within his own, orga, his campaign organization. There was nothing that they didn't resort to, to try to destroy right. this man as a candidate and, and then as a president. And you look at these timelines, you know, meetings at the White House with Obama and just a few other people. He goes to New York to, br to brief the president on certain things. He mm -hmm. stays behind, you know, and he... Uh, mischaracters, yeah. you know, the actual uh, steel, do you know, the steel document. Then he lets CNN, of course, ahead of time, know that he was going to do that. Right. Then he signals, okay, it's okay, CNN, you got the hook. You can, you can do your show. I mean, the whole thing is just... Uh, it, it, it's it, disgraceful. It's it, totally it, disgraceful. And what he did to General Michael Flynn uh, is, it is just disgusting. Uh, and uh, tomorrow uh, will there will be a sentencing, and for what? Sentencing him for what? What they did to General Flynn is just an absolute, total outrage. The American people should be outraged. You know, what they did with him, they bankrupted him. You know, they made him sell his house. They made him do all kinds of things over nothing, and over today, some grudges. And then they announced today that they're going after his two business partners right. uh, as uh, foreign lobbyists. Uh, well, I hope Judge Sullivan throws the case out. I hope he chastises everybody involved in this witch hunt. I mean, they were out of control what they did to him. 
They were in violation of the Constitution. They're in violation of the privacy I, regulations. The unmaskings, we haven't even talked about that. And, and that, I, I know in your view, that's a bigger scandal than any of all of the Hundreds arrests. and hundreds of unmaskings that have not, the evidence of which the have, not, administration. have not seen the light of day yet. Right. You know, who knows what the number is? Maybe it's a thousand. But it was all part of this scheme that was hatched in the White House with the Nash, national security team and guys like uh, Comey.